This is Ari Kaplan speaking today with Andrew Angus, founder and CEO of Switch Video, an explanatory video production company based here in Collingwood, Ontario. Andrew, how are you? I'm, I'm doing great. Gorgeous day here in the uh, bustling metropolis of Collingwood. <laughs> so tell me about your background and the genesis of Switch Video. I, so my, my background is I've always been an entrepreneur and I, you know, I had a lawn care business when I was nine, uh, but I, I didn't, didn't accept cash. Uh, I'd invoice my clients monthly. Uh, in university, I, I had a small company and I needed to fund it. I started a bank to do that and I had the Bank of Angus. Uh, and people actually had about $16,000 in deposits in that bank. People would loan me the money and I would use it to fund my company. And then they would come to the ATM or the Angus teller machine uh, and, and I would give money to them. So I've always been like wheeling and dealing and trying to figure out how to run cool businesses and fund them. And, um, and, and then three years ago, I, well, five years ago, I started watching uh, explanatory videos and there were a lot of great ones out there and I wanted to get into the market and I couldn't figure out exactly how to do it. Uh, and then ended up with an opportunity uh, to get into the market three years ago. And you know, with this one source of leads from our partner, we, you know, the first night I had six leads when I woke up in the morning. Uh, three weeks later, I was pitching to Microsoft, and uh, and I did not have a body of work, and I'm not an animator. I didn't have a skill set in this area, so we just kind of, you know, tiptoed through that until we got enough clients to build a portfolio, and, and so we've grown in the past three years from just me, and now there's 25 of us, and produced uh, about 250 videos for about 180 clients in 14 countries and in six different languages now. How do you create, tell me about the process of creating the explanatory videos, because I saw your, the video that you created for Visualize Me, which prompted me to call you, and I happen to be in Hollywood today, which is awesome that you took the time to meet with me. So tell us about how you create the video. What's the process like? So we are in Collingwood, and it's after five, so honestly, there's nothing else to do. The stores are <laughs> shut, so thanks for giving me an opportunity to not be at home. Um, so, yeah, the, the process, it depends. Uh, Visualize Me was a really cool project because it's claymation, uh, also with infographic in it. So it's, it's done both with clay and, and modeling the clay and, and, and stop action that way. And it's, you know, it's awesome to watch Rob, who does a claymation. Uh, it's yeah, just so interesting that you can create things. And I think that's what's so interesting about all of what we do. And I can't draw, so I'm stunned by it in the same way that I think everyone that kind of watches our videos especially the ones where you can see the art, artistry happening. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's, that's Visualize Me. It's part, partly claymation and partly infographic. Uh, all our videos take five weeks to produce, uh, so we have a really tight, succinct process. And we work with our clients to be tough enough on them to, to get to a great outcome uh, without, without them really disliking us at the end, but making sure that you know, making sure we go through that process of taking something that starts being as being very, very complicated and turns it into a very succinct 60 or 90 seconds that explains their business. And who are some of your clients? You mentioned Microsoft, Visualize Me. Yeah, we've, we've worked with large companies like Microsoft or Unisys. Uh, we've, we've worked with uh, great companies like Ripple, a, a startup in the HR space that has a, has a great tool. Um, we've helped them to increase conversions on their website uh, and engagement after people convert. Uh, smaller startups like Visualize Me. So really, you know, we work directly with a client or we work with management consulting firms. I was just going to mention one, but I'm not allowed to say their name out loud. Uh, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so sometimes management consulting firms as well. Uh, as a uh, ghostwriter, I get that. Yeah, I get that yeah, peril. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> and how do they generally use the videos? Um, it, it will depend. Uh, if, if it's a company like Ripple, a software as a service business, it's on their website and it's very much about the return on investment. They're using that video to increase conversions so that they end up with more paying clients. So we split test those videos, we play with the call to actions, we test having video or test having uh, a soundtrack, a music soundtrack versus not having one. Does that change conversions? So it's very much about taking the number of visitors to a website and ending up with more of those uh, converting to leads or sales. Uh, otherwise, they're used for um, PR or marketing. Uh, we worked with waste management a couple of years ago during the oil spill in the Gulf to explain the work they were doing to clean up the oil as it, as it came ashore. And I think people had concerns about what they were then doing with the oil. So we explained that whole process of how they were, uh, how they were dealing with the oil and where it was going in the end and how the landfill was constructed uh, to, to speak to people's concerns about, about that cleanup effort. 
And where do you see this industry headed? Um, three years ago, it was just me, and now there's 25 of us. I think we'll continue to grow. I think that we'll, we'll end up having uh, more clients and more long-term relationships. Uh, we're doing that with one of our, our large partners now, uh, where we you know, pretty much are doing a video for them every six weeks. Uh, and, and I think it will go uh, you know, from products as well to, you know, I think quite soon, every time a company releases their earnings every quarter, that they will release a video with those earnings as well. Because uh, you can see the power of, you know, take someone like Apple and take their last, you know, eight years or, or whatever their, <laughs> their major growth has been uh, and turn that into a, a video that shows that growth over that period. That's the most effective way for a company to speak to their shareholders. Uh, and it's, it's also a way in some ways to bypass the media, but also to make sure the media is saying what you want them to because you're giving them a really clear message. You're giving them a video that CNN can embed on their website. Uh, to go with that article, so you're, you're really helping to create the news in, in the field that you want as well. This is Ari Kaplan speaking with Andrew Angus, founder and CEO of Switch Video, an explanatory video production company based here in Collingwood, Ontario. Andrew, awesome chat with you. Thank you. Thanks, Ari.